I have commented about the state of the economy. I can only say that the finance minister is clueless as to how to deal with the gravity of the crisis and her colleagues including the minister responsible for economy, commerce and industry have made astonishing statements which you are aware of. I will only say that the steps that have been announced today will not revive the Indian economy. They are purely cosmetic, piecemeal and also convey the arrogance of the government, its indifference to the seriousness of the situation. After the earlier announcements, situation has deteriorated and these measures are not going to help. I would like to make this observation that the Finance Minister of India is lacking in macroeconomic understanding. A comprehensive package for economic revival was expected. Infusion of capital, not merely small interest subventions which have been announced, but a major public investment. The government is unable to do so because it does not have money. Like last year, when they had a revenue shortfall in tax collection of 1,70,000 crores, and this time exactly that is the gap which we had announced between the economic survey and the budgetary announcements. As you would recall, we had explained, I had personally explained it. Now, this year, the situation appears to be more serious. On 23rd of August, the finance minister had announced the refunds of the GST will be done immediately, as you would recall. Last night, the country heard of nationwide raids of GST. Now, if that can revive the economic sentiment and business sentiment, I leave it to your wisdom to evaluate. It's not only that, the shortfall in the revenue collection or tax collection, the annual target for this financial year is 24.6 lakh crore. In the first four months, the collection is 5.4 lakh crore. So you can extrapolate the number. It's a staggering shortfall and in percentage terms against targeted 18.5 percent, the actual realization is 6.6 percent. So the government actually has no money. They may make announcements. Unless and until some drastic measures are taken, finance ministers claim that inflation is under control is meaningless in today's crisis. The objective is not to control inflation. Let the inflation rise, but let the economy be revived. Let investment take place. Let the money be released. Let the factories start producing again. Let the, our people, from engineers to employees to blue-collar workers in the factories, find employment again where millions have lost jobs and are continuing to lose jobs. The finance minister has also announced certain other measures about boosting exports. I will again call them cosmetic and they will not address the real issues.